God. Uh, why does this game hate me? How's it going, guys? We are off to Texas Motor Speedway. Hopefully, finally, after five races of suffering in the NASCAR Thunder 2000 career, which I did not think we'd be doing. But finally, we're going to have a little bit weaker race car, but we're going to a racetrack that we're actually pretty decent at. This is the conditions. Uh, so we have a chassis that's 95 condition, 64 tire grip, 58 over here, tire wear, power is 59 in the engine. Uh, we cannot change it since we already have a bunch of things going on. We have a new engine coming in, that brand new engine in one race with an uh, overhaul engine in one race. And in the chassis department, we have a new chassis coming in two races with a repair on our best chassis in one race time. So it's finally starting to really come together. We have $398,000 in the bank, but we have been absolutely struggling through our worst races uh, at uh, North Carolina, which is The Rock, Vegas, Atlanta, Darlington, Bristol, just racetracks that we are just not good at. And it is absolutely pain and suffering and torture and, you know, just sadness. But Texas hopefully will be the turnaround. Rusty Wallace is still leading the points. Dale Jarrett won at Bristol. He is 28 points behind. And I'm hoping that we can make some changes as we go to Texas. We're not going to be great since we don't have like the greatest engine and our chassis is not at like the 71 overall that we know it can be, but it's decent enough. It's it's good enough, you know, and hopefully we can get like a top 15 and we can get the heck out of here. And then next race, we have Martinsville, Talladega, and, and I think we're going to be a lot better. So let's see how Texas goes. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members as always for supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Let's freaking get some wins. Not wins. I'm kidding. Not wins. Let's get some top 10s in the NASCAR Thunder 2000 career. If not top 10, top 15. Come on. We got to be consistent now, guys. Consistent. Let's go. Probably my favorite track on this game just because of how fast you are. Texas Motor Speedway. Where is it on lap one? It's P1. We don't even got to run anymore. Pole position at a mile and a half. And the car is not even that good. Beautiful scenes. We will take it. Let's go to the freaking race. Let's get a well, good result. MRN, say something nice about me again, please. But Tide Ford has really shown some muscle in his qualifying this year. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We have been focusing on qualifying. We're doing extremely well. And uh, we've been fighting the last five weeks, you know. But uh, we're, I think we're really going to make a breakthrough, MRN. Thank you very much. Don't, you don't got to talk about Jerry Mayfield. All right. Got Tony Stewart behind us, so he's going to immediately pass us. But we also have uh, Kyle Petty right next to us. Let's go get the job done. Come on. Let's actually lead. I just want to lead a lap. Can I lead the first lap? Get some five bonus points. I'd really appreciate that. No, 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 no. Let me lead the first lap. Oh, come on. No, oh, man. All right, hold on. I might be able to get Kyle Petty if we just keep Tony Stewart behind. Oh, boy. And keep Sterling Marlin behind. Don't encounter damage, though. No damage on the race car. No damage on the race car. All right. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Nice and easy. There we go. Make sure we don't slide the tires. All right, so Kyle Petty's going to lead lap one. Let me lead a lap. Get over here, you bum. Be careful not to slide the tires. Don't slide the tires. We need the tires to be intact. Holy crap, we are flying. All right, Sterling Marlin, Tony Stewart, you can get around me in a second, okay? Just let me lead this lap. Let me lead this lap. Thank you, Kyle Petty. Yes, we're going to lead a lap. Oh, oh my God, finally. Oh, beautiful scenes. Leading a lap based off actual merit, and it's not Daytona or Talladega. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. So now we got to make sure we just kind of limit here. Sterling Marlin and Tony Stewart will get around us. I'm not going to hold them up. I'm just trying to manage my own race right now. You know, we're just, just chilling. Don't slide the car. Don't slide the car. There we go. Beautiful scenes. Just right there. Do that over and over and over. Turns one and two. It's almost out of the car. We got some slow guys holding up the pack. We might be able to get a top five finish if this all plays out beautifully. All right. Beautiful scenes. Don't slide it. Don't slide it. Nice and easy. Good. The car definitely is lacking a little bit of grip, but it's still okay. Nice and easy off of turn two. That's the trouble point. Exit of turn two is the trouble point. But at the moment, we are still in the lead. Doing a very good job. I'm just trying to talk myself up right now. You know, guys, just trying to hype ourselves up. We're doing a really good job here. Pit stop will probably come around lap 41, somewhere around there. So just, just doing well. Come on. I said I would let them go, but I'm, I want to hold on to the lead as long as I can. Uh, let's see. Got to be careful, though, not to wreck the race car. At the moment, we're just really good through three and four, so I'm able to hold on. Got to make sure we just don't slide here on the entry of one. So I got to back this up a little bit. Back up the entry. 
There we go. That's a much better entry. So you get those tire marks. You don't want those tire marks. I've left those tire marks before. All right, exit of turn two. Very tough. Just going to get close to Sterling Marlin. I'm not going to hit him. Just trying to stop his momentum a little bit. There we go. We stay. It's a three-way battle for the lead at the moment. We're definitely not as quick as these guys, but we're holding on. Beautiful scenes. This is legitimately the first time we could ever say we're battling Tony Stewart for the lead and it's off merit, you know, and actually based on speed. So we're going to enjoy this moment while we can. And we're so good through three and four, man. Oh, my God. Turns three and four at Texas Motor Speedway. I love you so much. And just like modern day, one and two is our weakness. But, you know, one and two isn't a broken, complete mess of a corner. So, you know, it's still, still a net positive. All right, Sterling Marlin, excuse me. Just trying to make the corner. And we're allowed to slide up since we carry so much speed through there. We got some guys catching. Let's see who those good two are. Uh, Benson and Labani are gaining. So, yeah, we're probably not finishing top five. But, like I said, top 15 is a realistic possibility. And, uh, you know, those guys from behind are going to catch up. We are legitimately holding these guys up right now. And I think they will get around. This is probably it. This is probably, yeah, this is it. I have to check up. Exit of turn two. Going to get way too tight or way too loose. All right. It was fun while it lasted. Eight laps of being in the lead. I'll take it. And you know what? This is going to be actually a, a net positive for our race if we can keep up with Sterling Marlin. He's going to pull us along down the straightaways. And right now, we're kind of focusing on trying to not get caught from guys from behind. So I'm just going to try and just kind of ride the coattail to Sterling Marlin. Uh, hopefully, we can maybe pull away a little bit. I don't know. Look at this. We're able to keep up. It's just about one and two. Keeping up in one and two is going to be the challenge. So right here... And specifically on exits, as the tires get more and more worn, you can see through there, we're going to lose him more and more. But as long as we got that slipstream, we're doing well. Benson and Labani are catching quick. Good Lord. The only reason I am still in second place is because we are just hanging on for dear life to the draft of Sterling Marlin. And it is helping at the moment. We have a five-car breakaway right now for the lead. And please, Sterling Marlin, do not go any faster than you are right now. You are saving my life at the moment. Please stay right there. Uh-oh, right front tire is wearing down. We still have 14 gallons of fuel left. Good Lord. All right, so tires are going to be dead basically by lap 30. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to suffer at the end of this run. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, it's, it's going away. It's going away. The tires are already dying. A story as old as time. Tire wear on NASCAR Thunder 2000. Lord have mercy. Help me with tire wear. Ay, ay, ay. And Sterling Marlin is now gone. Oh, my God. Thank God we did not get right rear damage. Holy crap. All right, we got, we got to slow down a little bit. Now Now that Marlin is gone, we got to make sure we, we get our good result this race. Don't damage the race car. And I'm, I can't I can't hold these guys up anymore. Like, we really... Uh, it's It's been a journey. We still have another half of this run to go. We still have, we have to run 20 more laps on this set of tires. We've done our best, but now we really got to just kind of take our medicine. And wherever this car finishes, where it finishes, we are, we are maximizing everything right now. It's just our race team cannot give us the car necessary to compete yet for race wins. Tires are completely worn. And this is not a situation where you want to pit early and then bring out a caution because the leader has not even caught the tail end of the lead lap yet. So people are not going a lap down. So that's not really the case. We just have to run, you know, from the get-go. Hopefully this lap car up here might slow some of these guys down. But uh, I don't know. Well, it's probably not this track. This track's way too high speed. Damn, Benson just passed us on the outside. Oh, boy. All right. All right. All right. Block that. Block that. Hopefully, uh, I think it's probably Bliss or someone up there that's super slow. Hopefully... He can slow down some of these guys. Rudd, Stewart, I don't know. Somebody, please. All right, we're going to stay on the bottom here. Hopefully, Benson stays up the racetrack. All right, stay up the racetrack. Stay up the racetrack. There we go. Gonna get that spot back. And just going to use Bliss to kind of just hang on for dear life in the middle of one and two. Thank you very much. You stay right there. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it's time. We got to let these guys go. I can't hold on anymore. They're making me lose basically all the, all the way around the racetrack. We're not going to beat them. We're going to have a slower pit stop. I mean, they're faster in the entire second half of the run. So all these guys, we're going to have to let go. We can't do anything about it. So backwards we go. And it's just a strategic and smart decision to not encounter any damage in the race car. And we'll just keep fighting. Keep fighting. But okay. Oh, boy. I'm trying to. All right. You go ahead. You guys go ahead. You guys are all faster. 
We know we can't compete with you yet. It's fine. If I had normal tire wear, I'd be able to compete with you guys, but it's okay. We fall back. We're in eighth, but we're in pretty decent racetrack, decent race posi position. We got lap cars. Hopefully, we're going to hold some of these guys up so we, so we won't lose them completely. So I think we're okay. Uh, the lap traffic does nothing. They literally all just passed Bobby Hamilton like it was nothing. So <laughs> disregard lap traffic helping. It is not. Rusty Wallace, another fast race car. He's on his way. He'll get around us as well. And like I said, we our hopes went up, but top 15 is what I thought at the beginning of this race, and it's probably what we're going to end up fighting for. Front tires are red on lap 29. Uh, okay. So how the hell do we go another 12 laps? Like, I don't understand. How am I supposed to do this? Earnhardt Sr. gets around us in the Coke Chevrolet, while the Pepsi Chevrolet of Jeff Gordon is about to get around us as well. And the only reason they are is because our front tire wear is from hell, essentially. Like, unbelievable how that is even possible, but okay. Uh, we're going to probably rethink some strategy stuff here. The leaders are getting stuck in lap traffic um, at the moment. They're not really pulling away. I'm not going to be able to run another 10 laps. There's no way. Uh, there is no way. We are a second and a half off the pace right now. So, yeah, that's just, this is not going to work. So, we're getting passed by freaking Joe Niemicek right now. All right. We're going to go on the offensive. We're going to take a risky little strategy here. Box, box, Lewis. Box, box, box. This time by. This time by. We are pitting. Boxing, boxing. Uh, here we come down pit lane. Sorry, Matt Kenseth. 70 miles per hour. There we go. All right. So... We're going to be on the aggressive here, uh, on an aggressive strategy. We're basically taking the strategy that we took when we were battling for 30th, basically. We're going to implement that strategy here. Now, we're going to have no worries about going a lap down. That is not going to be the case. But, basically, we're going to need to fly at the end of this race on fresh tires. We're going to have to bring out the caution without encountering damage. And then we're going to have to fly through the field at an ungodly rate, which I am confident that we can do. And hopefully get a top 10 finish. That's kind of the goal here. Pit crew, when there's no pressure on them, they bring out a still a second slower than estimated, 18 seconds. That pit crew is absolutely diabolical, so, I mean, we might have to think about making changes there. And now, with fresh tires, it is time to fly. And hopefully, we'll bring out a caution around, like, lap 60 or something, because we can only go 30 laps on a set of tires before dying. Oh, and if a caution comes out right now, I swear to God, I'm shutting this video off, I'm turning off the recording, and I'm leaving. I'm, I'm not going to continue this if the caution comes out. I'm done. We've basically been in a clean track this entire time, so we've been able to make up so much ground. And it looks like the leaders are about to start coming down pit lane on lap 42. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. Uh, it's just really the bigger question is, will NASCAR throw the yellow when I stop in the racetrack? I don't want to occur any damage. I don't want to wreck anyone. We're, the plan is, is gonna, we're going to stop on the back straightaway, like right around here. And then hopefully that will bring out the caution and we'll get back going. We won't lose a lap and we can go from there. That's the plan. And if that plan happens and it works out, we're in very good shape. Because, oh my god, when our tires aren't dead, fastest car in the race. Well, not fastest, but top five race car, 100%. Oh, uh, we have a blown engine here. Uh, Jeff Burton, please, don't bring out a caution. Jeff Burton just got held up desperately, like terribly there. Uh, so I'm just really hoping that blown engine, whoever it was... Entering three and four while pit stops are happening. I'm a little bit nervous of a caution coming out here. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. I feel like we have some leaders right here. The, the blown engine is in the middle of three and four. Oh, boy. Please, please, no caution. Please, no caution. Please, no caution. Please, no caution. Just tell me that guy's getting down. He's, he's right there. No, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. No, there's death on pit lane. We are a lap down. What did I tell you? Our luck is unbelievable. I cannot explain this. How is our luck this bad? How is it this bad? Our luck is, 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 in, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. How does this happen to us? How does this happen to us? <sighs> oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to stay out just to see what happens. I'm not even near the lead. Oh, my God. Ah! Why does this game hate me? I can't even get.
get back on the lead lap, man. Oh my god, I want to throw up. Jesus Christ. Uh, the odds of a blown engine during green flag pit stops at the entry of pit lane. And that's what brings out the... Oh god, it makes me sick to my stomach. The plan stays the same, we just can't win this race, and I'm, I, I think, uh, we can't finish top 10? No, we still can. Uh, there are, are seven cars in the lead lap. Alright, so Rusty Wallace somehow is in the last. Ridiculous. Alright, let's see how many cars are two laps down. Uh, cars two laps down, uh, 28th on back. So, uh, we will restart 27th once the caution comes out. Trust me, there will be a caution that comes out. But, uh, just gotta wait a little bit. But it's just really sad, because I honestly think we could have finished, probably could have won the race. I genuinely think we could have flown up through the field quick enough to win this race. And we're not going to have the chance to do that, which is just very depressing. But, uh, alright. Not the end of the world, we can still get a top 10. If we get a top 10, it's a success. So let's just make sure we go ahead and do that. Don't damage the race car here. We, we don't really need to fight these guys. We're just letting the lap counter go by, trying to build our tire advantage for when the caution comes out. Caution might even come out naturally, because that crash was so hard. I don't know if both of them blew up. Uh, well, May Mayfield is already blown up. So, yeah, Labani DNF. So, I don't think anyone in the field has, has debris damage or anything. So, I don't think the caution will come out. we got to give ourselves enough time to get up through the field here. So, uh, we are now on lap 60. We're going to have 20 laps to go around there. If the caution came out now, that sounds about good. So, uh, I think enough tire delta at this track as well. We need only 20 laps on one stint. I think that's fine. So, the caution will hopefully come out now. Let's see if we can bring it out. Try our plan. We have plenty of time to the leader, so don't got to worry about that. Stop on the racetrack. There we go. Get back going. Don't let the game take over control for us. And perfectly executed. There we go. All right. Beautiful scenes. Uh, and we will get back going. We'll come down pit lane. We'll restart 27th. Now, I hope... That they won't put the two the guys that are two laps down that stay out i hope they don't put those guys in front of us um i, I hope that's the case i'm not really sure we'll go from there but we got 20 laps to get up to eighth we have to get up to eighth that is what we're going to try and do eighth place is the goal all right they did not put us behind the guys that are two laps down so that's a success we have about 18 laps somewhere around there to get up to eighth place Let's get the job done, guys. Come on. Bad luck will not stop us. It is not going to happen. I'd love to get actually normal restarts, but it's fine. We are fast enough. We can do this. Give us the bottom. There we go. I love fresh tires at Texas Motor Speedway. They're taking a look. Not as fast as I want to be. They, the AI, look, the field looked pretty quick, and I'm kind of surprised by that. Uh, let's go up to the top here because I don't want to get held up. There we go. We gotta stay on the bottom though as much as we can. So let's get back to the bottom here. Excuse me. Out of my way. Thank you very much. Don't bring out the yellow. Don't bring out the yellow, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got to crack the top 20. We're gonna get held up a little bit right here. Nothing you can do. Just gotta follow the suit. All right. There's the hold up. Uh, damn it. All right. Come on. Get around them. Come on. Straight line speed. Horsepower. Come on. There we go. All right. Just can't af that, that's the one area that's going to suck is that in three and four, we're most likely going to get uh, slowed down a good amount. Uh, okay. I honestly thought I'd be better in one and two compared to the rest of the field. I thought there'd be enough delta there, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot. So this is going to be pretty challenging to get up to eight. Use Bill Elliott. Run high. Run high. Run high. Nope. You're going to go low. It's fine. Around Mark Martin. Uh, we're just going to go high and then get him off the racetrack. There we go. Get off of me, down low, passing the grass, come on, eh, alright, don't get held up, come on Nemechek, pick up the pace, Nemechek, pick up the pace, this is one and two, you can usually pull away from me there, there you go, good job, good job, alright, now we go low on him, now we have Earnhardt Sr. up next, I honestly have no idea who's on the lead lap and who's not, so I'm just trying to pass everybody right now at the moment, uh, eighth place is somewhere up here, uh, there's... I don't, I don't even know. I, there are probably guys in the lead lap that are... Because they, they're not 13 cars in front of us. So I don't know who's on the lead lap, but they're lucky as hell to be on the lead lap. Holy flyer. Oh, my God. There's a lot of fast guys here. All right. So a lot of the fast guys got trapped lap down, which is going to make our job harder. But we should be able to get it done. Ricky Rudd, we're around him. I think that was not for position. I don't know. 
but who cares? Kenseth, excuse me. All right, Gordon is up next. Kenseth was not for position, so he's on the lead lap. So there are five cars up here. Oh boy, sorry, Gordon. Didn't realize you're gonna be that slow. I need to keep the momentum up, and that really hurt us. Ah, come on, man, keep it going. All right, Gordon, and I gotta pass Tony Stewart. Come on, man. Why you gotta make this so difficult? The guys in the lead lap are lucky sons of bitches, man. I'm telling you. Tony Stewart, Benson. These are all guys a lap down. It's ridiculous. Like, the lead lap cars aren't even here. Ridiculous, man. We got so screwed. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I mean, look at the field. Look how slow some of the guys are. It's just unbelievable. We got to the top 10. I think Burton is also a lap down. I'm very positive he is. Uh, is Sterling Marlin a lap down? I'm not sure. I'm hoping he is because that would be the last position. I don't know who the hell is running. So I think Rusty Wallace is running second. He's on the lead lap. Yeah, Sterling Marlin. Okay, so... We have basically passed everybody, and only the top two are going to be in front of us. And so that shows we've passed seventh place, sixth place, fifth place, fourth place, third place. We passed all of them. And unfortunately, uh, we're going to finish in eighth and not get credited for a third. So just shows you what could have been. The strategy would have worked out. I honestly thought we could battle for the win as well. I, I think we could have battled for the win if it wasn't for, uh, for that yellow. So very, very frustrating. But we get around Sterling Marlin. And, yeah, we don't have enough speed to get back on the lead lap. I, I knew that we were never going to do that. We were never going to be able to get have enough speed to get back on the lead lap. But, yeah, oh, well. We could have done better, but I, I think we should probably be happy with eighth. It is what it is. Wait a minute. One of the lead lap cars is only 13 seconds ahead. Who the hell is that? Who was lucky enough to stay on the lead lap? Rick Maced, of course. Oh, my God. He is so slow. He's going to finish in seventh. Oh, ridiculous. A race with no damage on the car. And we get a top ten finish. Overall, very unlucky with the caution, but job done. Job is done. We got a top ten. That was what was needed. We did it. Good job all around, guys. Good job all around. We continue on. We're going to better racetracks for us. Next race at Martinsville, we're going to have a very, very strong race car. I'm excited. We got a $150,000 prestige bonus, so that's nice. We have $924,000 in the bank. Everything is looking good here. Uh, we got sponsor prestige up plus two points. So that sponsor prestige is going up. How many races we got left of that? Uh, all right, so we have a good amount. I want to get this up to the mid-70s. I'm hoping we can, but uh, we got to keep obviously finishing top 10. That's what we're going to have to do if we want to get that done. Uh, chassis department, we can go ahead and repair or overhaul one of them. I think we're going to go ahead and I uh, probably need a repair, right? Uh, let's take a look. 67. No, it's actually be probably an overhaul. Let's go ahead and overhaul. Uh, six, eh, it's probably not worth it. We have a new another chassis coming in. We're going to go ahead and repair. Save a little bit of the money. So uh, repair for $102,000. Uh, and then we have a new chassis coming in. We go to the engine department, and we can repair or, or overhaul over here, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. 61, 62, 63, 63. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, no, it's already a 60. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add repair. We're going to repair engine number eight. There we go. Uh, and so for specifically this for the next two races. So for uh, Martinsville, this is going to be the car for Martinsville. We're going to take a strong engine. We're not going to save anything. And we're going to take a strong chassis. That's the only chassis we got, obviously. Uh, so that will be uh, the car for uh, Martinsville. And then for uh, Talladega, what we're going to have is we're going to have the... Uh, let's modify, change car. There we go. For Talladega, we're going to have the new chassis in, in there. So it's going to have a pretty good uh, drafting in there. And then we'll have uh, the other engine in there as well. So... For basically from now on, we should have a really strong race car, you know, time it. Not really strong, obviously, to race wins, but compared to what we've had, it's going to be strong. It's going to be like in the 60s for power all the time. The tire grip is hopefully going to be 70. I know my chair is blocking it, but 70 uh, grip with 64 wear most of the time. If not, it'll be like 67 tire grip and stuff like that. So looking pretty good there. In the standings, I want to move up. 18th place. Let's try. Let's aim for like top 15. I think, it, I think top 15 is 100% possible this season. We should definitely aim for that. Top 10, 
Probably not just because the level gets so much higher. Gordon, Labonte, Burton, Mark Martin. These guys that we just really can't compete with yet. So not expecting that. But top 15, I think we can get done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe already. Subscribe for new. The next two races in this is going to be important. Martinsville and Talladega. Let's hopefully win one of them. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.